Yo, what is up guys, Coach of Tech here. So today, we got another Bluetooth speaker to review. Now listen guys, I'm pretty stoked about this one. So let's check out the box pretty quick. Look at that, bam. This is the X-Boom Go PK7W by LG. Let's get to it. All right, you guys, of course you can pick this speaker up at Amazon. I'm gonna have the link in the description below. But look guys, I'll be honest with you, I'm really excited to review the speaker. All the reviews I saw on Twitter, you got all these cats out there saying that this is the speaker, et cetera, et cetera, on YouTube. Everybody praying, uh, praising the speaker. So listen, Coach had to cop it. Went on Amazon, quickly ordered it, bam, came in. You know, we gotta keep it pushing. All right, let, let's break this down. I'm, I, I, listen, I'm excited for this video, all right? Coach, you gotta calm down, but anyways. Quick, let's look at the box. Let's go through the presentation first. We're gonna unpack it, we're gonna demo, we're gonna do all that fun stuff. So let me show you guys the box one more time. All right, so you see here, L, uh, LG X Boom Go PK7W. All right, so like I said, you copped this on Amazon. Now, it ranges between like 230, the white one, like 230 to 240, I wanna say, sometimes even 250, depending if you get it on sale or not. They have a black version and a white version. I believe the specs are identical to the black and white. Some cats do say that the volume is a little louder on the white one. I don't know, I gotta see it. But the black one is usually always a little cheaper since that's a little older model. I think it's usually like $10 to maybe even $20 on sale. But anyways, you guys saw the front. All right, so on the side, let's check the side of the box. All right, so, so nothing special. What we got here, just the X boom, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're gonna go into specs. The other side, just the white side, another version of the box. And check, let's check this out. This is right here, very important, guys. You see that? You see where it says made in China? You see where that says it made in China, right? Remember that, all right, it's $230 speaker. $230 speaker made in China, remember that. All right, so let's read the specs. Let me show you guys the specs, what they got here. Listen, the specs, I ain't feeling these specs, man. All right, I'm not feeling these little ass, little ass specs they wrote here of the speaker. All right. It says here, uh, powered by Meridian. Now these guys make, uh, they make a lot of audio equipment. So I presume that this speaker should sound really nice. We got dual tweeter, passive radiator, passive radiator. So the passive radiator is where the bass is gonna come out. Enhance the sound balance with smooth vocals. We're gonna check that out. Deli deliver deep bass and richer sound. So we're gonna, of course, check that out. Uh, extreme battery life, uh, up to 22 hours of playback. Now guys, uh, the 22 hour playback, it, it's, it, it varies to the audio level you're listening to. So if you're listening now max volume all the time, you're not gonna get 22 hours. You're usually gonna get a lot less than that. Maybe like, I wanna say eight to maybe even 10 hours, maybe even less. So it depends on the, um, on the volume level you're listening to. High fidelity streaming. So stream high fidelity resolution audio files from your Bluetooth device using different enco uh, encodings, uh, AP, XHD, APX, and AAC, and weather and splash proof. All right, so this is IPX5 certified. All right, IPX5 weather and splash, so you cannot submerge the speaker. It's a $230 speaker. All right, again, a $230 speaker. All right, and one more time, $230 speaker, and it's not even IPX7 for, uh, uh, certified, man. That's some bull. Oh, man, that's some BS. LG's playing games. All right, made in China speaker, can't even be IPX7. That's no bueno. Uh, the box presentation is really decent. I've reviewed a bunch of, of Bluetooth speakers. You can check uh, everything audio playlist that I have. A bunch of Chinese speakers that had more better presentation uh, than this box. But anyways, I'm hype. Let's unpack this right here, man. Listen, for all the money this thing costs, is it worth it? Is it, is it, is it gonna be better than the, uh, <clears throat> the, the W King, the current beast, all right? The W King. The W King, which is a 50 watt speaker. And speaking of which, I forgot to say, where's the wattage? LG, where's the wattage? There's no wattage, they're not, they scared. L I think LG is scared right now. LG is like, yo, we can't flex. We can't show the wattage. But from the research that I did, it said um, on their website, it said power stand on, uh, power standby mode, 32 watts. So I'm not, I'm thinking that this is a 30 watt speaker. All right, this is a 30 watt speaker. Listen, the Alpatronics is a 40 watt speaker. The W King is a 50 watt speaker. The Bugani is a 40, uh, I believe a 40 watt speaker as well. Oh man, which other speakers did I review? The, I mean, ch check out the playlist. There's so many, but we got, uh, let's just, let's just check this. All right, so we just take this out. We got just um, some foam here. I mean, this is a, uh, this is a made in China presentation, guys. Right. 
Uh, it's just, just think about it, made in China. I'm curious to see how this white one looks, y'all, but let's see what we get here. Let's look at the accessories, man. I am hyped. To be honest, I'm about to like beast mode these accessories as well to see exactly what we got in here. This is like struggles upon struggles. All right, so we got some booklets. We got here LGs. Uh, we got a manual. We got a booklet of manual. We got more booklets, more manuals. This looks like a power. Oh, wow. Okay, so this has actually a power bank. So this actually does have a power bank here. So we got here a power bank. Is this polarized? I believe, or maybe non-polarized. I always forget. The one has a little square, the other one doesn't. So regular um, power socket. So I believe you could power this, or this is to charge it. Okay, I'm confused. All right, this is the power bank, so this goes here. This is not like USB Type-C or micro USB or something. Uh, it doesn't seem that way. $230, yeah, $230. All right, uh, I gotta say, I gotta admit, looks nice. Okay, already like came out. All right, let's check this out. Yo, man, this white is nice. <laughs> I gotta see. Now, let me let me look at this before I show it to you guys. Okay, I'm feeling this, man. I can't say I'm not. It looks, listen, it looks, all right. It probably is the best looking speaker that I review, guys. So peep it. So let me know. Look at that. This is honestly beautiful. This is beautiful. It looks really nice, the white. You got this nice handle. Oh, dang. What the fuck? You heard that? Oh, that's some bullshit. Oh, that's some bullshit. Yo, this, I thought this was, uh, listen, I thought, I thought this was either aluminum, aluminum, or some sign. Listen, I really thought this was Chinese steel. This is plastic. Oh, that is bullshit. The grill is not even a... I think the grill is aluminum. Oh, that is you know, hype, boys, man. You, you hype, boys. But anyways, all right. You guys saw the front. I'm getting hype right now, man. This, I'm not feeling this right. This is. I thought this was aluminum. This is some. I, listen, I got Chinese speakers out here, all aluminum, all, all metal. But anyways, we got our passive ra ra uh, radiators right over here. All right, it says uh, X Boom. Of course, you got that nice branding in the back. We got a little compartment here. We got power poured in. Re oh, wow. This is not even micro USB. You can't even charge this via micro USB. I gotta hold this, oh, let's put that right there. So people for yourselves, let me bring it a little closer. So you guys see it right here, what we got going on. Um, we got power poured in. I think this is for auxiliary, reset, and this is the synchronization button. We're gonna run through that too. Uh, now, I know what you cats are probably gonna tell me that I don't understand why they're not, they didn't give me a micro USB, why they don't have micro USB or um, or, USD, or, or USB type C. Yeah. I know all you LG fanboys are gonna go and correct me and tell me blah, 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 blah. But that's that, we got power. Okay, the top is nice, clear voice, enhanced bass. Check it. All right, so this looks nice. We got rubber grips in the back. Man, that's some. Guys, I'm sorry. Uh, listen, I'm, listen, listen. I'll be a hundred with you guys. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I, I know you cats are probably gonna watch this. Yo, f you, kosher. You're blah 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 blah. Listen, you pay two hundred thirty dollars. This shit better not be plastic, man. All right, this is plastic. And you guys heard that clack? Like, I feel like you could like twist this and crack this. But anyways, this is like you could carry. Oh, man, this is some push. But right, y'all, I'm getting ahead of myself. Guys, really? Like, look. I feel like I could break this. Yo, dead ass. I'm, I'm being 100 with you guys. You could buy the shit for yourself. I right, buy it on Amazon. You could check for yourself. I ain't lying to you. I feel like I could honestly squeeze this very hard. This is flimsy. Look, look, look. Oh, man, hold up. It's white, too. I don't know. It's... Look, it's bending. This shit is bending. This shit is really flimsy. LG tricked me out. LG really, I honestly thought this was aluminum or some sort of metal. But anyways, let me power this on. Let me see how it sounds. All right, I gotta, I gotta say, the white looks nice. The white looks nice, it looks crispy, it looks dope. But where they catch you is this shit is plastic. Everything is plastic. I think this is, this is plastic. This is definitely plastic. Plastic. Plastic, all right, we got this up. Yeah, all plastic, but anyways, let me, let me power this on. 
Oh man, I'm probably gonna have, I'm probably gonna catch so much hate in this <laughs> review. I'm just telling you guys. <laughs> but it is what it is, yeah. But it is, let me pad this out. Let me, uh, let me, let me hear the, how this sounds. Let me compare the, the Buganis, the Apatronics, the W Kings, the photos that I got rocking here to see what a 230, 40, whatever the hell the speaker costs, what it actually got in store for us over here, y'all. Let's go. Acho guys, we back at it. Now, I've been rocking with the speaker for quite a while, you know, just trying to get my, trying to get my perspective right, you know, before, you know, we start rocking out before I test it out to you cats. I'm gonna play some mixture songs. We're gonna play with some vocals and we're gonna play with some hard boom. Now remember guys, I'm playing all non-copyright music cause you know, I ain't trying to get got. So anyways, let's demo some songs and listen, this, let's demo some songs. All right, right now I'm gonna play something with vocals. So you guys just to hear it out. And of course, we are gonna play around with the vocal indicator. You guys can see right there with the vocal indicator and the bass and the enhanced bass indicator as well, because it does make a huge difference. But anyways, right now it's both on with uh, enhanced bass and vocals, and I'm gonna play with it. You guys, cause uh, you guys are gonna about to see it right now. So yo, let's go. Of course, next volume. I just wanna hold you. could heard once once I was playing with the enhanced bass basically the enhanced bass all it means is a, just a difference of you're just basically um, turning off you're lowering the, the the bass and treble essentially and then basically just you know on and off that's basically all you do it's a um, it's basically an equalizer so once you turn it on and off you're basically having your little equalizer now unfortunately you can't manually increase the bass and treble and play with the sliders it doesn't have that but as you guys saw that when I was playing when I was turning it off the the sound got a little lower, it got not essentially muffled out, but just got a little lower. Now when it's the enhanced bass is on, it just gets a, you know, a lot louder, even though it's not as bassy. Uh, the vocal clear, I was playing around with it. I really didn't hear a huge difference with the with the with the clear vocal. But anyways, let's play a different song with some vocals. We're gonna test it out, and I'm gonna basically walk you guys through, you know, this whole entire of review. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna play another song now. Of course, this is the Kosher Classic, guys. Let's go. Let's pretend that I'm not here. All these empty faces talking about problems, I don't care. I can't wait till sundown because my body's aching. I just wanna dance. I just wanna dance. Don't you wanna party? Sending a feeling heartbeat. Everybody's carefree. Everybody's carefree. Don't you wanna party? Sending in the crowd, feeling heartbeat. Don't you wanna party? Don't you wanna party? quickly guys the LEDs you guys see in the front they basically once the bass hits they change colors and you can play with them via um, via the app I'll show you guys in a sec but the LEDs look you know it looks nice if you like that whole LED boom box you know whatever design I mean you know it's it's there the option is there but as you guys saw when you play with the equalizer when you play with the enhanced bass there is a difference um, in sound now, when you do play it, the vocals, I gotta say with this speaker, you know, the vocals are, are nice. The highs are really nice with this. You hear it, you know, a little crispier, I would say. But anyways, let's play a different song. Mm -hmm. 
Before we get into the next song, I just want to show you guys the app pretty quick. Now, it's not a really in-depth app. I'm not really going to spend so much time with it. I'm just going to basically show you guys essentially how it looks. Uh, very simple. It's not like, it's not really in-depth of what you do. You see the speaker. You could play with the lights. There's a setting for that. You could essentially uh, play with the enhanced bass, turn off the vocals. There's also a setting once you press the voice indicator, you, you see you have your... Um, your Google and your uh, Amazon, I don't want to say its name, but your Amazon stuff thingy there too. So, I mean, that's basically it. You can play with it. And then the party lights, you could change the colors in the lights. Here, I'm going to show you guys, you know, and that's basically it. And the lights are going to change. So whenever there's going to be, you know, some bass, the, the colors and lights are going to change. It's not really an in-depth um, app. It's a very simple app. It works really well. I can't complain about that. And you're going to see the battery life, you know. Etc. 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 Not not really into detail of really too much in the app. But anyways, let's move on to the next song. Now it's gonna be some you know some wild stuff. Let's go. Where's that play button? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, since all that since all that nonsense is out the way, uh, I gotta tell you guys how I feel about this speaker. All right, look, it's all right, all right. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna catch hey, Just one thing, very important, the DC power, all right, so when you do have it connected via DC power, right there in the back, uh, you do get, uh, I would say, a little bit enhanced sound. It gets a bit louder. Now, this is not the loudest speaker you could get. Now, like I told you guys in the beginning of the video, I think this says 32, I believe it's only 32 watts. This is not the loudest speaker you could get. There's obviously a lot louder speakers with a lot higher wattage for a substantially cheaper price. Now, all right, let's, let's, let's break this down. Let's talk about the things that I like about the speaker. All right. As you guys see, the white is absolutely beautiful absolutely gorgeous the way it looks aesthetically this is probably the best most definitely the best looking speaker out on the market right now the leds do look hot for me personally i care whether they're there whether they're not but look wise this is absolutely uh probably the best looking speaker sound wise when you're playing uh more something with a lot of highs like if you're playing classical music if you're playing something that has like vocals you know like if you, let's put it this way if you're listening to celine dion if you're listening to andre bucelli if you're getting stuff like you know that kind of genre then i would probably say this is something that you're gonna want but anyways that's probably the only thing i like about this speaker essentially just the, the highs the mid is okay, you get the highs and essentially the aesthetic appeal. Now let's talk about what I don't like. All right, listen, the the the, <laughs> the price, I right, $230 between this, remember this guy, this speaker goes anywhere from 230 to 250. That's insane, 230, 250. Next, the plastic design. Now you guys might be saying, oh yeah, it's a speaker, they're all plastic. I get what you're saying, they are all plastic, but look, it's $230, at least give us some sort of like some aluminum, some sort of look. I mean, for that price, like this this thing also feels like very fragile. Like if you're about to drop it, it's just gonna, you know, crack. Like this is a speaker. This is not a speaker that you take to the beach. All right, don't be fooled. This is not a speaker you take to the beach. This is not a speaker where you take, you know, when you wanna play some ball, you take it to a park, you take it for a barbecue. No, this is not that kind of speaker. This speaker, if you got nice, if you got like nice piece of, you know, like a nice room, you got a nice piece of furniture, this is a showpiece. This is honestly a showpiece. If I was you, I would honestly always have it plugged in to the power and just put it somewhere, hide the power, you know, hide the power wire and it's gonna be, you know, keep it moving in that sense. That's what it is. It's honestly a nice looking showpiece. It's not worth it. It really isn't. There's, like you guys could tell me in the comments below, there's not no reason for you to go out there and spend $230, $250 on this speaker on the market. This is nowhere close sound wise 
you know, a speaker. If you like your house music, if you like your hip hop, if you like your rap, if you like deep house, this is not gonna cut it. The when I was playing the Adrenaline Lush, Rush song, it's just it, it's it's not fully there. It gets it doesn't get loud loud. Like I don't know why a lot of people said, oh my god, it gets super loud. No, we don't. All right, if you if you rock the Alpatronics, which I did, if you rock the W King, if you rock the Bugani, if you rock the Dolphin, the LX uh, the LX20. Like those speakers that I all just mentioned right now, they're anywhere from $50 to $70. This thing is $230. That's what I'm saying. Like, I really cannot justify the speaker in the sense if, you're, if your budget is $230, honestly, I would say, if and if you want a Bluetooth speaker, and if, if you want a showpiece, if you're going to be like, yo, kosher, you know, I got a nice room and I just, this, I love how it looks. Like, I want to put it somewhere. Then you know what? I would probably say, you know, go cop it, get it. But I would, I would also could say, listen, won't you get the Sonos One? All right, the Sonos One in white, it's as gorgeous. You could put it and it's gonna sound as good. And then, hey, you could pair them up. Yeah, you could pair this up too, but still, you know, this is Bluetooth, it's not Wi-Fi, so you need to use Bluetooth, which is also a downside, especially with this kind of price range. So it's it's not really there. Like, look, like I said, I got all the, like, I'll grab a, like, check it out, guys. I grab a W King, right? Now, I am gonna do a comparison with all these speakers. Like, I got, it, I got the W King. All right, this is more of a rugged. Now, I'm just using this as an example. You can rock the Alpatronics, the Bugani's, the first speaker I grabbed. Now, this is a W King. Now, you guys did see the video. If you haven't, I have, you know, I'll put it up there in the card. This is honestly a beast. This thing is rugged. You could take it to the beach. You could take it anywhere. Like, this, this is all plastic, too. You know what I'm saying? But this is sturdy plastic. Like, this, I wouldn't feel bad dropping this, you know, in the, in, in the pavement on the street. This, in the other hand, Yo, like this shit is too nice for me to take it out in the street. You know, for all you cats, <laughs> for all you cats out there who rock expensive phones, you put phone cases on them, right? Like you gotta honestly, you when you rock the speaker outside, you gotta put like a speaker case on it. That's how nice it looks, you know? But this right here, if I drop this shit, I'll be like, yo, it is what it is, it's $70, but $230, it is not a huge difference. When I was rocking W King sound wise, it destroyed it. It honestly did because when I play with the equalizer, you guys know how the equalizer get. When I play with the equalizer, forget about it. That thing gets extremely, extremely, extremely loud. It honestly com completely destroys it. But with the highs, with the clarity, if you're, like I said, if you're listening to that kind of music, also instrumental music, then yo, this is the speaker for you. But yet again, I can't justify the price. I just can't justify the price. It's not worth $230. You get yourself a Sono speaker, you get, um, man, I got all these speakers that I'm losing. But you know what I'm saying. You get all these other speakers for that kind of price and you can get hi-fi sound. And, you know, it's just, it's just, I just can't fan them the door for you. I'm going to tell you guys, go out there and go buy, spend a $200 speaker where if you rock a W King, a standard Bluetooth speaker, look at it. It looks absolutely beasting. Yo, $70. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, look, I could go on and go on. Leave your comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I just saw a lot of videos, everyone praising this thing, everyone saying it's amazing. I, I, to be honest, I think it's I. Now, if this, if this was a buck, if this was 150, I would definitely say this thing's absolutely a must have, but $250, $230, I think it's just too, too high. And like I said, it's just, it's honestly guys, it really, for, for me at least, it's not worth it. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below. Let me, you know, tell me if you guys rocking the speaker. Tell me guys if you like it or whatnot. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Deuces. Hold up, hold up, hold up, my fault. I forgot to mention. All right, this shit don't even got a power bank. And like I said, it's DC powered. It's not USB, it's not USB-C, it's not micro USB. So that's some BS. Now what a power bank is, for instance, if you're chilling right somewhere and your phone, for instance, or your phone, your other speaker, your uh, your MacBook, whatever, your laptop, your MacBook, whatever, whatever, whatever electronic piece of device is out of juice and the W King and all these other Chinese speakers, there's a, it's called a power bank, which you could essentially do is pl plug a regular standard USB charging cable, right? Whatever comes with your phone, whatever, USB Type-C, uh, lightning cable, micro USB cable, plug it to the speaker and then plug it into your device and it's gonna get charged. I'm, I just spent $230, $50. I don't even get this option with this speaker. I, I don't even get this option. And plus, like I said, it's DC powered. So that's also, it's a big DC cable and you gotta carry it on and you gotta, and you gotta honestly just plug it in, which is honestly for me is also a no go because you spend all this money. At least give me a, at least you know make it a micro USB or USB Type C, some regular stuff, so I could charge it. They made a DC power, so 
That's also no go in a, in a power bank, guys. Come on. It's $234. Let me get a power bank. This this right here, $70 to get me a power game. But anyways, I just my fault for getting it. That's a that's a crucial aspect too that I forgot to mention, guys. Which is honestly this thing. Like I said, no bueno, yo. But I'll catch you guys later. Deuce.